Thank you very much for the organizers of this workshop. Uh, this reminds me back when we were using, or oh, we are taking some of the subject called, uh, two subjects, one, map reading. The second is map using, whereby I just call you here, I direct you to go to Morogoro or Bukoba and look for a needle, Sindano, or a, a pen at the bush, jungle. How can you get that if you really don't know the, you don't have a map or a, a, a good photo to indicate where that object is hidden. So it reminded me far and exactly proved it to me that really we need an accurate and proper data to make sure we really manage the, 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 the disaster. When we talk about the earthquake, the big area was affected, not a dot one. So I remember when that event occurred, I was in Bukoba, no, I was in Dar es Salaam and I left the very night to Bukoba and we, we faced a lot of problem in collecting data, knowing the number of people, knowing the houses uh, that was demolished, and also the requirement from that. Even the, the support that we have given to the people, how to, how to, how to, to, to tell people that we have given this. We didn't, we didn't have enough data. So group one give, has given us to us different uh, data. Group C, group D, different data. As he was saying that the, the new technology, technology helps us really to have a, 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 an accurate data compared to the one that are collected by individual because this one uh, synchronized at least to give an accurate data compared to me and somebody one, someone else. Ladies and gentlemen, as I've said earlier that I feel honored for this opportunity me, as a director of disaster management, my responsibility is to safeguard the safety of all citizens in Tanzania to prevent disasters and make our country resilient. It's the second for me to attend this uh, Ramani Huria events, and I find that Ramani Huria, by involving community residents in mitaz and wards across Dar es Salaam, with the help of students from the University of Dar es Salaam and Ardi University, have created maps. I have uh, one there given to me to show the existing situation in flood-prone areas. Over the past two days, my friend, I've been told that you have been learning about the methods, success, and the challenges that face the title uh, Ramani Huria. This method has been used in another situation, like in Bukoba earthquakes that I've mentioned earlier, showing the method and the potential to scale this method across Tanzania. The application can involve more than disasters, as I've mentioned, but here is where the approach and data can have the greatest effect when you talk about people's life, then you need real data of the people themselves and what they need and where are they. Volunteers have started to build resilience in the community by supporting environmental clearness or outreach among their fellow community members. This helps to empower our communities to be more resilient. We can take this as our goal to empower communities across all of Tanzania. I've seen the details of the maps. Community groups and your attendance today demonstrates the foundation to build the flood or Mafuriko resilience and the preparedness in our cities, municipalities, and across our country. Importantly, the discussion and the presentation have shown the wide range of opportunities for us in Tanzania to build and grow from where we are. 
the workshop has created a job, a work in front of us. We are not today as we were yesterday. So we have a job, we have a work in front of us. So the workshop is officially closed now, but our work has just begun. We have to start what we have uh, started, started in this workshop from today. Thank you very much.